Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome back to my studio. Um, I saw this recently on another channel and thought I would share it with you guys. Uh, you might have seen it, I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's making making something, I don't know, a little different to put into your journals, maybe slide into a pocket or something. So basically you need to start with a shape. It could be um, a square, something easy like a square or a circle, oval shape. Um, it could be a butterfly. Uh, a mushroom, a heart, um, you know, just anything that you'd want to do. Uh, if you have something to trace around, uh, you know, like I, I trace this butterfly. So this is what I have. Now when you, when you're tracing, you want to use paper and, and some kind of pen that is going to bleed through so you can see it on the other side. I don't know if this is coming through on the camera very well, but I can see, you know, the, the outline of the butterfly. So you want something that's going to go through to the other side. Um... So, I was just wondering about, oh, I don't, what I was using kind of, kind of stopped working. So, I don't know if I even have anything now that will go through. So I wanted to do, I was thinking of, of a circle, but, but I've just changed my mind and I thought a heart would be fun to do. So let's see, I can kind of see that coming through, it doesn't come through all that well. Let's see if this one will. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, that's coming through well there, but how do I get it to this side? I can't remember how she did that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I can see it. I, I have to... Uh, I can't see it there, but if I do this, I can see it. Oh, why not? <laughs> oh, poop. All right, wait a minute. I'm going to figure this out. The problem is I can do one side of a heart just fine. It's getting the other side to be symmetrical that I have the problem with. So... I can do the one side of something just fine. It's getting the other side to match up. That I have a problem. Nah! Even doing that, it's not perfect. But I think it'll be okay <laughs> for what we're going to do. I don't think it has to be perfect for what we're going to do. Okay, so I am going to use Fabric Fix and I am going to glue rather than sew. Uh, the, um, the video I watched, the person sewed, but I know a lot of you don't. So I'm going to do using glue, and I've got, what you need is a bunch of fabric. A bunch of fabric, could be scraps, um, could be leftover from other 
Could be some lace, maybe. Uh, you know, leftover bits. So, yeah, whatever you have. So, let's see. And you, you kind of want something that's going to be a focal point at the end. If you have something like that that's special. I don't know that I have anything here that's special. <laughs> so I'm just trying to look an applique maybe or or some kind of special fabric. What do we got here? I'm sure we could get something from this, couldn't we? There we go, right there. How about that? Let's see. Ah. Okay. So this is going to be our special, special piece. All right. So, and do I want this on here? Well, maybe I do. Well, I am going to tear because I just like, I just like the look of the torn fabric better. Okay. So, since we're not sewing, we need to be, be a lot more mindful of getting the glue really good. If you're, if you're sewing, you just want enough glue to keep it in place. And probably a glue stick or something like that would, or some kind of liquid glue would be okay to use. You just want, you know, you just need to hold it in place temporarily. But if you're not sewing, then you, you want to get your glue really good. Now you want to go over, you want to go over the lines. <laughs> you don't have to go over a lot, but you want to go over the lines. Okay, so gee, this is pretty, isn't it? I wonder if the glue's gonna show through that. I don't know. But we'll see. I don't know if this tears. Is this, oh, it tears wonderfully. Oh, how how lovely is that? <laughs> okay, so get some of this off. <laughs> ah, it's sticking to me everywhere. Okay. This is really neat. I wonder where I got this. <laughs> I, I don't know. Things just show up in my in my craft room and I have no idea where they've come from. It's kind of like the, I guess the craft fairies come in here and leave things for me. I don't know because I don't know where some of this stuff comes from. I run across things all the time and I think to myself, oh, <laughs> when did I buy that? <laughs> It's weird, but it happens constantly. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, you dingbat, you probably bought it. I mean, how else would it get in there if you didn't go buy it? Well, that's true. But, see, I can't just go to a fabric store. I haven't been able to go to a fabric store in quite some time. 
There was a Joann's that was close to me where I used to live. And for a while, they had an electric cart. I mean, I would see it sitting there. I would—I never used it. I didn't need to back then. But I saw it sitting there. And then when I got to the point where, yeah, to go into a store and look around and what have you, yeah, I, I would need an electric cart. And it wasn't there anymore. And I asked... And the gal said, oh, people keep running off with them. They, they just ride them out of the store and keep on going. And, you know, she said, we, we can't afford to replace them anymore. And that, that just, that made me sad. I thought, why would people do that? I mean, why would you do that? I don't even, I don't quite even understand you know, I mean, the carts they have in stores are kind of big, you know, and they've got that really big basket in the front. Um, you know, it's not something you could use around the house very easily. So why, why take it? I don't understand. Why take it? People just don't, you know, they just don't. Have, have any consideration for anyone else. I don't know. That's just weird, though, because, you know, the kind of kind of carts that stores have, it's not really, a you know, an electric scooter you would want. Oh, no. I need to pick that up and get it over over that line a little bit more. My fingers are getting sticky. So yeah, that made me sad. And uh, of course now I definitely need one. And uh, most, most um, Joann's don't, don't have electric carts. So it makes, you know, it makes it difficult to go looking for, you know, fabric and stuff. Although I would really love to. I would really love to. Well, I don't know where I got this stuff. <laughs> not dumb. <laughs> don't answer that. Okay. Um, this is nice. Kind of like I don't know. Well, it's silky. It's it's kind of like something the scarf would be made out of. Golly, where did I? Where could I have gotten this? I just don't know. Unless it was sent to me. It could have been sent to me. I'm gonna go with that. Because this isn't. I mean, these are just like remnants and stuff. You know, so. It's not something I would have bought at a fabric store anyway, because these are just like, you know, small, small pieces, remnants. So I'll bet you they were sent to me in Happy Mail. I'll bet you anything they were. Okay, so... That's kind of nice there, and I don't know, maybe I should use this color because it is a heart, so maybe a little bit of red-ish would be good. Okay, I need to get that off. I hope everyone's doing well. What are you working on? What are you making? Are you, do you make a Christmas, Christmas, um, journal? Well, 
or a winter journal. I did a winter journal one time. Um, <laughs> it's still for sale. <laughs> Um, I did, I actually, I did a whole, um, uh, group, grouping. I did a journal, uh, a memory keeper, keeper, oh, I can't even talk, memory keeper album, and <laughs> a pair of earrings that all went together. And, uh, I had it as, as a, as a group, you know, kind of like a Christmas present type of thing. And it was, you know, in earrings and an album, uh, a memory keeper album for, you know, and a journal that all, all goes together. Made the, that a few years back and. Yeah, it's still, <laughs> still for sale. So I thought it was a really good idea. Obviously, I was wrong. I also made another grouping of uh, a journal and a memory keeper that is you know, kind of Irish, Ireland themed. Uh, again, that's, I don't think that's sold, although I don't know, maybe it did. I can't, I can't think of where it might be right now, so I don't think it's sold, though. I really don't. But so anyway, there we go. So yeah, if you were going to sew it, you wouldn't have to do that much glue, just enough to keep it in place. And then you would sew around your shape and then, you know, kind of patchwork, you know, all your, around your little pieces or what have you, <coughs> which is, looks really neat. I wouldn't mind doing that, except that, you know, I know a lot of people don't, don't sew or don't want to use their machines, so I thought I would do it this way. Um, so the point is that once you get everything um, glued down, you may not be able to see your shape. Now, some of, some of these... I, I can still see through it, but a lot of times, you know, like this, you're not going to be able to see. So that's why you need your, um, you need the uh, Sharpie. Sharpie is a really good one to use. It will bleed through your paper so you can see it on the opposite side. Okay. And that's, that's why you need you need that to be able to see when you cut out your shape. Because your fabric is going to cover up everything. See how things make sense? <laughs> course, you know, depending on your fabrics, you know, if you're using thicker fabrics, and of course in places they're going to be doubled, you know, you may, not, you may give that some thought as to what fabrics you're using and how thick they are and whether or not you're going to be able to cut through them. So, yeah, you want to keep that in mind when you're picking fabrics to use. Now, see, I hardly got any of that one. It all got cut off. Oh. Huh. Okay. Anyway, and here is the focal that I wanted to use. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Problem with when you use your fingers to spread glue is that you use your fingers to spread glue. <laughs> 
And now you got glue all over your fingers and everything sticks to them. So I wish I had a whole bunch of um, examples to show you. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, because this is not my, this is not my job. <laughs> um, I still have a corporate job, still work 40 plus hours a week. So I, I can't spend, I don't have a lot of time to spend on content and, uh, you know, figuring out projects and writing up detailed in, in you know instructions or having a multitude of examples to show you because I just don't have that kind of time but um, hopefully I'm kind of seeing some of that tracing show through so I'm gonna that cleaned up a little bit but isn't that cute I love it I absolutely love it now we want to back this though because this is pretty flimsy this is pretty flimsy so we want to back it and I thought you know this would work really well <laughs> packaging so I'm going to glue that right down onto this pack you know this some um, packaging i uh was gonna put this uh box in the recycling and then i thought wait a minute i could use that so i cut it up and saved the two panels and the rest of it went into recycling but i thought these would be useful so yeah, cereal boxes. Luckily, we don't have any kids, but luckily my sweetie likes his cereal. So I got a lot of cereal boxes I can use. Those are good. Those are great for um, a journal base. And they're also good to use as backing and things like that as well. So... Cereal boxes are a great source. If you have them, you know, I wouldn't buy cereal just to get the cereal box because cereal is awfully expensive anymore, isn't it? Why is everything so much more expensive than it used to be? I just, well, I think it, I, you know what I think it is. I think a lot of companies are just jumping on the bandwagon right? Um, prices went up in some industries. I think it was probably reasonable, especially after the pandemic and everything, you know, and, and some supply chains and what have you. But I think a lot of other companies just took the opportunity to say, well, we can you know, we can raise our prices now, too, and blame, you know, uh, supply chain or what have you, you know? I don't know. I just think it's, I don't think a lot of it's real that's happening right now. Um, but yeah, so cereals really gotten expensive. And the boxes, if you've noticed, the boxes are smaller than they used to be. And they're not filling them as full either. So it's just like, you know, boom, boom, boom. Higher price, smaller box, less, less inside. There we go. I wish I had more of this showing. Oh, maybe I could. What do you suppose? Maybe 
you know, probably doing this after the fact is not a good plan. But I just, oh, goodness. Probably doing this after the fact isn't probably a good plan. But if I could get that to fray a little bit, then it'll look normal. There. There we go. <laughs> anyway. So, anyway, that's the idea. Um, I don't know if we have time for another one. Not a lot, a lot of time. I am going to see if I can't just... Do a little bit of an outline here, just to make sure I get it all. We'll use that side, and then we have this side to cut from, so that's that'll be good. Oh, and this is this is yummy butterfly color material, isn't it? I think so. I think this is yummy butterfly material. In fact, all these are like a lovely butterfly. Uh, <laughs> this. Oh my, oh my, oh my. And what do we got here? Now this is a double-sided, so this is like a lining or something. Mm, I love this material. Oh, it tears so easily. Some, some fabrics you really struggle with, you know? And they'll tell, tell, tear one way, but they won't tear the other way. And it probably would have been better if I had gotten these ready before I turned on the camera, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I still got so much so much glue on my fingers still that um, everything is sticking. Oi. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. This blue, that, that kind of goes. Oh, so. I thought this fabric would be lovely butterfly colors. Didn't get a focal point though, did we? Uh-oh. We didn't really get a focal point. No. Oh no. I don't really have any, a lot of appliques and things like that that um, would work. Yeah, the, this stuff had to have come in a Happy Mail from somebody. 
I think this is from the lady in, in um, uh, Colorado. She does beautiful, beautiful work. She uses a lot of fabrics in her journals. In fact, uh, she has made total fabric journals, which is awesome. And um, I was very inspired by her to give that a try. <laughs> And I kind of chickened out. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm, I still want to, I still want to try and make one. I mean, I like working with bits of fabric like this, you know, or there are fabric covered tags that we did a while back. I enjoy that, but I don't enjoy working with larger pieces of fabric or a lot of fabric. I just I just don't. I've I've had bad experiences with sewing in my in my life and I used to quilt too. <laughs> and uh yeah, I've just had some bad experiences and I don't know. I just am not I'm not a fan of working with fabric as far as, you know, a lot of fabric and I it would it would require you know measuring out larger pieces and stuff and I don't really have I don't really have the place to do that and I can't stand at a table and do that you know so I mean I have an I kitchen island that would be perfect but unfortunately I can't stand at the island and, and do that, so. Years ago, a girlfriend of mine got a new house, and her new house had this huge kitchen island, and, and I was just drooling over that, because back then I was, I was making quilts and working with fabrics, and I needed a big space and I didn't have that in my house and I looked at that uh, island kitchen island that she had and I, I just thought to myself oh man wouldn't that be awesome <laughs> oh, okay all right we're gonna go for it here guys we're gonna go for it we're going to do it. We're just going to do it. I am going to put glue all around this butterfly. And we are going to stick these puppies down. And there. Well, get that out of there. Oh. Oh no. Oh heavens. <laughs> it's getting all stuck now. Okay. That one's going in the middle. This one was up here. This one was down here. And this one was kind of right in there. It's not quite wide enough, is it? Uh. Oops. Okay. All right. Now have to go in here and just stick down these bits. Oh, my fingers are getting really <laughs> covered. Oops. Yeah, gotta get all these guys down. Oops. Oh my. 
Oh my. Oh my. Alright. Now oh, come on, let's just let's get let's get serious here. Okay. I think that's I think that's covered. I think that's everybody. Everybody's glued down where they need to be glued down. We need a focal for our butterfly though, don't we? What are we gonna do? What do you want to do? We need a focal. We don't have you know, you think you got a ton of stuff. You know, I'm just drowning in it, really. I'm just drowning in stuff here. And yet, you still don't have what you need. Or what you think you need. just don't have what you need and I've got I'm, I'm just drowning in it I really am drowning in it Ooh, I wonder if a fairy would be am I in frame probably not I got this fab fairy fabric from leftover from the fairy journal I made oh I guess I used all the little girls. It looks like I have all the little boys left. Okay. Uh, maybe something like this, too. All right, so let's see about... That tears nicely. Yeah, so I really, really liked how the fairy journal came out. That was, that was a nice, nice journal. I, I, uh, that's still for sale too. I haven't even put it on Etsy. I've just gotten, I don't know what, to, <laughs> I don't know what to do with Etsy. Nothing is really selling. You know, some of my digitals are. I don't have a lot of digitals. Most of my digitals are actually handmade items, like master boards and stuff like that that I made that I scanned in. You know, because I don't, I don't do, you know, I don't create digitals in the computer. So all my digitals are act an actual item. That might be nice. How about if we back it with some green there? I think that would be super nice. Uh, Okay, now that's dried somewhat, mostly anyway, so let's just see about cutting out this shape. Now when you're doing a shape, you just want to be mindful of, you know, the detail. And, uh, you know, are you going to be able to cut out... If you do something that has a lot of detail to it, you've got to cut cut through, you know, several layers in some places of fabric. And 
So you got to keep that in mind, too. I don't think this project lends itself well to things that are highly detailed. But, you know, if you want to start out with, you know, just something simple and basic, like a heart or a circle, something like that, or even a, you know, um, abstract type of squiggly, you know, squiggly shape that's not too detailed in the squiggles, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not making any sense, am I? I'm not. Jeez, oh, I don't know. But yeah, you just want to keep those things in mind, you know? You don't, you don't want to get a shape that's going to be too involved. And you want to be mindful of the type of fabric you're using because you're going to have to be able to cut through it. And if you're not sewing, just make sure that, you know, all your little pieces are stuck down. Even if you're sewing, you got to make sure you catch all your little pieces. <laughs> So I think this, I think this project lends itself well to, you know, sewing or not sewing. Okay, now this is too big. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so I am going to glue this down to this. And we're just going to have to cut this little boy in half. That's what we're going to have to do. Well, I tell you, take that out of contents. <laughs> Somebody decided to listen in right there. They'd probably say, oh, they're cutting some little boy in half. Oh, no. Okay, what do you think? Oh. After all that, I'm not so sure. Uh, I had some round flower type things. That's going to be too big. Ah, uh -huh. oh, here they are. That's what I was thinking about. Would that work? That would work. A little bit big, but not too bad. Yeah, that works. That's what I was looking for. I'm shocked that I was able to find it. Seriously. <laughs> okay, so. What do I want to do here? I want to back that with something. That works. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. So, I'm going to glue this down. I like that. I know it's the guy, it's the little boy's legs. I know. All right, which way is this? Oh, I need to trim up some little doodads there. That's technical, very te highly technical. This is a highly technical channel. Okay, that's the back. Seriously, if you can't tell right away, it probably doesn't matter. I keep saying that to Pete. You know, I keep saying that, don't I? If you can't tell right away, it probably doesn't matter. And then I spend the next half hour trying to figure out if that's front or back. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. I think we've fooled around long enough with this. I'll save that little little fairy face for something else, I think. Okay, so there we go. There's our focal. That's nice. I wish this was white. I think I had some white ones, but that I didn't find. So I think white would have been better. But yeah, so that one's backed. So we have to back this one. So here we go. So I hope you give this little project a go. I think it's, uh, you know, kind of a unexpected thing that to find in a journal, you know. Uh, and thank you, Popcorn Box for packing backing material. <laughs> okay. Oh my. <laughs> there we go. So see you gotta you gotta cut this stuff out at least a couple of times. So you just want to be mindful of, you know, the level of detail in, uh, in your shape. Because, you know, if you get too, too rambunctious, too detailed in your shape, you're going to probably be sorry. Unless you're, you are a master at fussy cutting or kiss cutting, you know, a person could do a kiss cut as long as their backing material wasn't <laughs> showing through as some kind of product. But, you know, if it was just white or something like that, you could do a kiss cut rather than a fussy cut and have a bit of a border as you know, part of, part of the design. And I probably should have cut this out before I put the focal point on, shouldn't I have? <sighs> Didn't think. It's always helpful. It's always helpful to think ahead a little bit. Plan your steps. And, you know, figure out what you should do first and what should wait. Anyway, so there we have it. So there's a butterfly shape and a heart. I really like how the heart turned out. That's pretty. I like that too. It's focal point. But anyway, that is that is our project for today. I hope you give it a go. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, is this something you think you might like to try I mean just just do a circle or just do a heart you know I think the hearts are really good you know that's something that you could fit that into a pocket real easily and uh, yeah just just don't make your shapes so big that you know they would be too big for the size of journals you typically do is all so anyway 
Thanks for joining me today. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. I am very pleased to see uh, when new people are signing up as subscribers. That makes me very happy. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy uh, my channel and get some good inspiration. That's basically my goal is to give inspiration and, you know, maybe some new ideas or recycled ideas. <laughs> so until next time, take care of you, love each other, and I'll see you again. Bye.